Hello, my Lego friends, all my Lego builders. I am Callie. If you don't know me already, we are working on our gymnastics gym. And I thought it would be really neat if I were to go out and actually buy something to add to this. And I was wondering for a while about how I would do the foam pit. And I came up with a few things, which I was really excited about. And then I thought, you know, what if I got a few sponges? So I bought a few at the store. Here's one, it's purple. They usually come in packs of four. So these I had ended up getting at a really cheap store that you buy all your house good stuff from. And this is a sponge that I used. And they come into packs of fours, like I said. They usually look like this. And what I have done is I have created not only um, pit foam pit pieces, but actual mats, right? And what I mean by that is if you take a mat like this, right? And you take a Lego friend and you have them stand up, they could actually do back bends over top this mat. And then I guess do the back handspring and, and land, right? So I have created a bunch of different mats with these foam blocks. I made one that's a little larger, maybe they can jump up and land back, right? Jump up and land back into. Maybe they can have a friend sit on top of the mat and do conditioning and push them along the floor. I mean, there are so many things you can do with a sponge, a simple sponge, but please do not use one that is used or somebody had already opened. And if you're gonna use sponges like this, keep them away from your siblings if they're smaller Put them up somewhere so they don't become a problem for animals. Um, that's a huge thing, animals or small kids. Then here's another bigger mat, right? Really squishy. This was a lot of fun to do. And I'm sure you can come up with so many other ways of using this, but what I've done is I've created my own foam blocks. These are all my foam blocks. And then what I did, I thought it would be fun, take a box, now remember, that if you do a gymnastics foam pit, they're usually typically between, I think ours was four feet to eight feet deep. That's your typical foam pit. Now I've created one that is out of a box. This was a juice box. And if we do our Lego math, which I really love using, she's typically five feet. A gymnast is about five feet tall. So if I go like this, if that pit is between four to eight feet, should be five, five and five is 10. So not quite double her size. So if I took all of these, dumped it in my little foam box that I've made, let's see what it looks like. That is so relaxing, so refreshing. Look at that. Look at all of those that I've created. And this is probably six foam blocks, six foam blocks, all into one all into one now here you have it look at all that fun look at all the fun i am going i had to think about this i thought that the floor would be my centerpiece but i think this is going to be my centerpiece and i'm going to have my gym set up around this bad boy and what i mean by that is everything is going to be going into this pile so we're going to have the bars going into this we're gonna have the balance beam going into this. We're gonna have um, tumble track going into this. We're gonna have a lot of fun with this. So with that said, I've gotta make a box that goes around this whole thing, all of Legos. So I'm gonna work on that. I'm gonna add that to this box. Now I'm gonna see how well that goes. And they're gonna add an over piece that goes like this that kind of holds it in, it doesn't go anywhere which means I have to find a base and I'm gonna build on top of my base. But um, you will see the finished project when we go back to setting up our gymnastics gym. So I hope this was fun for you to watch. I hope you learned fun ways of using stuff that is not Legos because this is creative, right? This is Lego creation for you. How can you be creative to come up with other stuff aside from Legos? And just make sure when you're doing that, that it's something safe that you can use. I don't want you to use something that is not safe. So anytime you're doing this, ask a grown up to see if it's okay if you 
buy things, maybe use your allowance, right? Maybe do an extra chore around the house. Do something that will earn you um, money or earn you whatever it is that you need. With that said, I really hope you had fun with this one and I cannot wait to build the actual box to fit this into because this is just the base of it. This is like the, the beginning of actual building it because we still need to use Legos, right? So with that said, hope you enjoyed this and I will see you again soon. Remember to like, subscribe, and share so you can share this with your friends. Are there other friends that are just as excited about Legos as you are? And we'll see you again soon.